What up guys, Strupquad Pro from the Cash Kill and AC Network, bringing you a little Raw recap for the 4th of, 4th of July edition of Monday Night Raw. So pretty much on this Raw, we found out a little bit more about the CM Punk situation and had a few good matches to show and maybe found the Money in the Bank winner for Raw. Where I'm going, where I've been, just a little bit around the corner from fear, be there. Alright, so Monday Night Raw started with John Cena opening the show like average, the main event or the champion usually opens the show. But when he opened the show, you could tell sort of that this was um, pre taped because John Cena, you know, he's the big American hero and everything. He didn't mention the troops or the 4th of July at all. And that's. A little awkward, being that he wears red, white, and blue when you know he salutes the troops and everything. He didn't mention anything about that. But when he opened the show, he pretty much called out Vince McMahon, asking for an explanation on why CM Punk was suspended because he spoke his mind when people had done worse things and hadn't been suspended. And so he pretty much did that. He told Michael Cole he didn't want any interruptions from the general manager, so he meant business. And then he said that Vince McMahon was going to be at the show later on the in the evening. So one of the matches that we had tonight was the Nexus versus Santino Morella and Kozlov. And the Nexus, the new Nexus, David Otunga and Michael McGill and Cuddy, the tag champions, won this match. And all I really have to say about this is tag team wrestling in the WWE isn't as good as it was. Santino and Kozlov, they're all right. But I personally will never take Santino seriously. You know, he's always that goofball, he does his little cobra, he bends his arm and all that junk. I don't think I'll ever be able to take him seriously, so if they really want this tag team of him and Kozlov to be better or good to start with, they need to change up Santino's little goofy Italian gimmick and make him a real wrestler. But so the Nexus won that match, uh, and... Yeah, tag team wrestling needs to change in WWE. So later on in the night, we had a triple threat match to um, decide the number one contender for the WWE Championship. This was before McMahon had come out, and we'll get to that part later in the show. Alberto Del Rio won this match by submission. He made Rey Mysterio tap out. R-Truth was the other competitor in this, so Alberto Del Rio was named the new number one contender. But like I said before, that would change later on in the show. We'll get to that a little later. And so the pretty much the main event match for the evening was Alex Riley versus The Miz. And Alex Riley won this match. So that's two victories for Alex Riley over The Miz. And with Money in the Bank right around the corner, I think it's pretty possible that Alex Riley could be the Raw Money in the Bank winner. I made a video about that yesterday. I'll put that in the description if you'd like to see that. And I think that with this second victory of The Miz, Alex Riley's case to be the Money in the Bank winner just got a little better. And hopefully he does win, because I want him to win, but, you know, whatever. So then, at the end of the show, Mr. McMahon came out and pretty much said that he would suspended CM Punk because he could. That's pretty much it. And then John Cena came out and yelled at Mr. McMahon. He... John Cena took it to Vince McMahon. Like, he drilled him with facts of the past and everything. And Mr. McMahon pretty much said that he suspended Punk because he doesn't believe in Cena. So then, you know, Cena gets all pissed and everything. And he threatens to walk out. So then he hands McMahon the championship. He walks up the ramp. And then Vince McMahon follows him and says that Punk is reinstated. But if John Cena... No. He didn't say if John Cena loses. He said if Punk walks out the champion, John Cena's fired. Now that, you may want to keep that in the back of your mind. I mean, it may not be anything, but he didn't say if Cena loses. He said if Punk walks out the champion. So let's say Alex Riley wins Money in the Bank, and Punk and Cena have a long match that Punk wins, but then Alex Riley goes and cashes in his contract. Punk doesn't walk out the champion, so Cena isn't fired because Vince McMahon just said a punk walks out he didn't say if Cena loses so just keep that in the back of your mind it may play a significant role at the end of Money in the Bank and whether Cena 
stays with the company or not. So that's it. That's pretty much all that happened on this week's edition of Monday Night Raw. Like I said, it was pre-taped. It was taped last week because they're touring. Uh, next week will be live. Hopefully we'll find out a little more on the Punk situation and just a little bit more on the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. So uh, that's it for me. Signing out. Scrub Quad Pro. Peace.